Scientists are developing an intelligent air warfare system capable of articulating its strategic choices during conflicts to human operators. This innovation addresses the black box problem, a significant obstacle in the AI arms race for both the US and Chinese military forces. In this video, we will delve into how China has overcome a hurdle that has baffled militaries for years. It also signifies growing intensity in the AI arms race between Washington and Beijing. This is an intriguing story you don't want to miss, so buckle up and take a ride with us. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. In Xi'an, a historic city in China's northwest that has birthed some of the most influential dynasties, a novel force is taking shape as researchers develop an unprecedented form of military artificial intelligence, AI. This advanced air combat system can elucidate its decisions during high-stakes battles and communicate the rationale behind these actions to humans. This technological advancement signifies that China has surmounted a challenge that has perplexed militaries for years, marking a significant escalation in the AI arms race between Beijing and Washington. The United States initiated the exploration of AI in air combat before China. While China was still conducting real sky combat between human-piloted and eye-controlled drones, U.S. test pilots had already commenced trials with their dogfighting AI. Although it remains uncertain whether the United States has also resolved the same AI challenge in its new eye-equipped F-16 fighter jet as China claims to have done, the pioneering work by Chinese researchers is set to revolutionize future air combat. Existing AI technologies, such as deep reinforcement learning and large language models, function like a black box. Tasks are input at one end, and results are output at the other, leaving humans oblivious to the internal processes. However, air combat is a life-or-death situation. In the near future, pilots will need to collaborate closely with AI, sometimes even entrusting their lives to these smart machines. The black box issue not only erodes people's faith in machines but also hinders profound communication between them. A new AI combat system, developed by a team led by associate professor Zhang Dong from the School of Aeronautics at Northwestern Polytechnical University, can explain each command it issues to the flight controller using words, data, and even diagrams. This AI can also expound on the importance of each directive in relation to the current combat scenario, the specific flight maneuvers involved, and the strategic intentions behind them. Zhang's team discovered that this technology provides a new avenue for human pilots to engage with AI. For example, during a debriefing after a simulated engagement, an experienced pilot can identify the indicators of failure in the AI's self-presentation. An effective feedback mechanism then enables the AI to understand the recommendations of human teammates and avoid similar mistakes in future battles. Zhang's team found that this type of AI, which can communicate with humans, from the heart, can achieve a nearly 100% win rate with only about 20,000 rounds of combat training. In contrast, the traditional black box AI can only achieve a 90% win rate after 50,000 rounds and struggles to improve further. At present, Zhang's team has only implemented the technology in ground simulators, but they plan to extend it to more realistic air combat environments, as stated in a peer-reviewed paper published in the Chinese academic journal, Acta Aeronautica at Astronautica Sinica, on April 12. In the US, the black box issue has been previously cited as a concern for pilots. The country's dogfighting trials are being conducted in collaboration between the Air Force and the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA. A senior DARPA officer has admitted that not all Air Force pilots are receptive to the idea due to the black box issue. The big tough challenge that I'm trying to address in my efforts here at DARPA is how to build and maintain the custody of trust in these systems that are traditionally thought of as black boxes that are unexplainable, Colonel Dan Javorshek, a program manager at DARPA's Strategic Technology Office, said in a 2021 interview with the National Defense Magazine. DARPA has devised two strategies to help pilots overcome their black box apprehension. One method allows AI to initially manage simpler, lower-level tasks, such as automatically selecting the most appropriate weapon based on the attributes of the locked target, enabling pilots to launch with a single button press. 
The other strategy involves senior officers personally flying I-driven fighter jets to demonstrate their confidence and determination. Earlier this month, Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall embarked on an hour-long journey in an F-16, guided by artificial intelligence, at the Edwards Air Force Base. Upon landing, he expressed to the Associated Press that his flight experience had instilled enough confidence in him to trust this, still-learning, AI with the responsibility of deciding when to deploy weapons in warfare. It's a security risk not to have it. At this point, we have to have it, Kendall conveyed to AP. The security risk he referred to is China. The U.S. Air Force communicated to AP that AI provides them with an opportunity to gain an upper hand against the increasingly potent Chinese Air Force in the future. The report at the time stated that while China possessed AI, there was no evidence they had found a way to conduct tests beyond simulators. However, according to a paper by Zhang's team, the Chinese military enforces stringent safety and reliability evaluations for AI, insisting that AI be incorporated into fighter jets only after deciphering the black box mystery. Deep reinforcement learning models frequently produce decision-making results that are cryptic to humans but demonstrate superior combat effectiveness in real-world applications. It's difficult for humans to understand and infer this decision-making framework based on prior experiences. It presents a trust issue with AI's decisions, wrote Zhang and his colleagues. Deciphering the black box model to enable humans to understand the strategic decision-making process, comprehend the drone's maneuver intentions, and place trust in the maneuver decisions, stands as the fulcrum of AI technology's engineering application in air combat. This also highlights the primary goal of our research progression, they stated. Zhang's team demonstrated the prowess of this AI through several examples in their study. For instance, in a losing scenario, the AI initially planned to ascend and perform a cobra maneuver, followed by a series of combat turns, aileron rolls, and loops to engage the enemy aircraft, culminating in evasion maneuvers like diving and leveling out. However, an experienced pilot could quickly identify the flaws in this radical maneuver combination. The AI's successive climbs, combat turns, aileron rolls, and dives resulted in the drone's speed dropping during the engagement, ultimately failing to evade the enemy. And here's the human instruction to the AI, as documented in the paper. The reduced speed resulting from consecutive radical maneuvers is the culprit behind this air battle loss, and such decisions must be avoided in the future. In another round, where a human pilot would typically employ tactics such as side-winding attacks to find effective positions to destroy enemy aircraft, the AI used large maneuvers to provoke the enemy, entered the side-winding phase early, and used level flight in the final stage to mislead the enemy achieving a critical winning strike with sudden large maneuvers. After analyzing the AI's intentions, researchers discovered a subtle maneuver that proved crucial during the stalemate. The AI adopted a leveling out and circling tactic, preserving its speed and altitude while enticing the enemy into executing radical direction changes, depleting their residual kinetic energy and paving the way for subsequent loop maneuvers to deliver a counterattack, wrote Zhang's team. Northwestern Polytechnical University is one of China's most crucial military technology research bases. The U.S. government has imposed strict sanctions on it and repeatedly attempted to infiltrate its network system, drawing strong protests from the Chinese government. However, it appears that the U.S. sanctions have not significantly impacted the exchange between Zhang's team and their international counterparts. They have utilized novel algorithms shared by American scientists at global conferences and also revealed their innovative algorithms and frameworks in their paper. Some military experts believe that the Chinese military has a stronger interest in establishing Guangxi connection between AI and human fighters than their U.S. counterparts. For example, China's stealth fighter, the J-20, features a two-seat variant, with one pilot dedicated to interacting with eye-controlled unmanned wingmen a capability currently lacking in the U.S. F-22 and F-35 fighters. However, a physicist based in Beijing, who requested anonymity due to the sensitivity of the issue, said that the new technology could blur the line between humans and machines. It could open Pandora's box, he warned. We will follow up on this exciting military AI topic and report back as we hear more. That's all for now, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching our AI news update. 
Please subscribe to our channel for more intriguing news about AI technologies and innovation from around the world. Thank you.